my name is Kay. I'm a poet and a writer and on this channel I do reactions to K-pop videos. Specifically, I like to do lyric reactions and breakdowns. For this video, I was recommended- I've been recommended so many Mama Moo videos. Yes I Am stood out to me as one that I really wanted to get to. For today's video, we're going to be reacting to Mama Moo's Yes I Am. I think I found a version with good translation so hopefully these lyrics will be pretty accurate. I wasn't able to find them on their own video, I guess? Sometimes I do things in the past and then future me forgets why I did them. But I am using this version of Yes I Am because the other version didn't have any lyrics. That's what I was doing. So yeah, let's just go ahead and see what we think. I'm very excited about this one. I was told it's gonna be very like feminist and empowering and I love that. I love that for Mama Moo in general but I always appreciate that in lyrics as well. So, here we go! This is so cute. What an adorable music video. So starting off, she's like, I'll introduce myself. I'm a confident woman. If you want to follow me, that's fine. Cute, adorable, love it. Okay, I see what they're doing. They're basically being like, I'm not like other girls, which is such a like, people want you to say that so badly. In any field, in anything, everyone always wants you to be like, I'm not like other girls. As though like being like other girls is like a bad thing. So like light makeup because I'm lazy. You know, being clumsy and cute is, is desirable, I guess. But let's go back a little bit. I won't show skin. There's no need to do that. I'm modest. I'm not like other girls. I don't need a lot of makeup. I just woke up this way. I'm modest. Like they're making fun of these kind of things. I don't like ordinary things. I only like things that are special. And I think Hwas is gonna come in and, you know, undermine all of those things. I'm very excited. Okay, wait. I love that. Whenever I wear short sleeve shirts, it becomes summer. Like, the season's answer to me. Whatever I want to wear, that's what season is. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. It's just like anywhere you're from is, uh, anywhere you're from is unique and something in my mind is high class. I really like how she's just like, bitch please. The season's answer to me. I love that. Whenever I wear sleeveless shirts, it becomes summer. I like that. I'm very cheeky. There's a lot of things that like are considered like good qualities in girls but then like you're all supposed to be like that and some of it is just like yeah some of it's putting on act and some of it is just like most people are like this in some aspect of their lives. I like if this is not meant to be like a ta I feel like it's supposed to be a takedown of those kind of ideals but if it's not let me know but it does feel that way very much and knowing them and their kind of brand of humor it seems like that, especially with the really like Instagrammy, cutesy background. Like this seems like they are poking fun.
Wait a second, have they been introducing themselves each time? Because it seemed more like, like the kind of things that people are like, oh, these are like your characteristics and your traits. But maybe they're saying like, this is what people think of us. This is uh, like what are considered my characteristics, my traits. Are they introducing themselves as like, but it, it comes across very much like sarcastic though. It comes across very much like you reducing us to this, but you don't actually know me. Maybe, maybe I'm getting it wrong though. Okay, the song changed and now it seems a lot more serious. It really did seem like they were poking fun at the beginning, but now, especially like in the white room, and they're like, hey, these are the things they get criticized about. These are the things that don't fit the beauty standard that I really actually like. Like, I like my face is more round. I like that I don't have a double eyelid, that I have a monolid. I like my dimples. I like that my nose wrinkles. Like, the things that are cute about a person, that they're like, I actually really like those. That's really sweet. Aww, okay, I really liked it. Okay, so it did definitely feel like at the beginning they were being a bit more like tongue-in-cheek. This is kind of the industry standard. And they were wearing outfits also that are like traditional cutesy uh, that you'd see in a lot of uh, different uh, K-pop girl groups wearing. Like it felt like that vibe. And then the follow me, follow me felt very, very like social media. Whereas then after the kind of change in the song and they're like, actually, these are the things that like I get criticized for that I really, really like about myself. Like I like these parts of me a lot. Then it felt much more like they were being serious where they're like, actually, I am a confident woman. Actually, you can try and follow me. Like actually, I am all these things because their voices then came in uh, with the ad libs and things. It felt much more natural. It felt a lot less kind of trying to be cutesy. And I don't know, I really like it. I like this kind of like, hey, heck no, like this is us. This is how we are. And I think that's one of the strengths of Mama Moo. It was very cute. I really liked it. I like that song. I need to do, um, ooh, ah, um, yeah. Is that the right order of those sounds? Because I really like that one too. And I feel like it's going to be the same kind of like, heck no, we're, we're beautiful, confident women. We don't have to fit into your beauty standard because they don't because the beauty standard can fit into them. Because honestly, the beauty standard in Korea has been a bit tight, and you'll notice each generation, somebody will break out from the previous generation, and then suddenly they're hiring a whole bunch of kids who look very much like that person who was considered unattractive or who had a voice that was considered unattractive. Suddenly everyone's looking for those things. So if you don't fit the standard today, but you create the standard, everyone's gonna wanna look like you later. Like. The amount of kids nowadays who try, who try, or who do have voices that sound like G-Dragon, it's amazing because he's the biggest star from Korea. He's certainly the biggest star in Korea among idols, easily, but his voice was not considered good. His voice is kind of nasally and people made fun of him a lot, but everyone wants to sound like G-Dragon these days. 
So, you know, things like this. Like, suddenly everyone's like, actually, Hwasa's really hot. Maybe we should have some curvier girls. You know, things shift, things change, if you're successful and talented enough to make them. And they definitely are. Momo does not get enough praise. Like, any praise they get is totally, totally, totally earned by them. And they could get a lot more. I love them. I think they're so good. That was really fun. If you're watching this the day it comes out, this video is posting on my birthday, so please leave a cake emoji down below for me if you want to say happy birthday, because I want some cake. It's hard to eat cake when you're allergic to dairy, <laughs> so I have to make my own darn cake. But if you would leave me some, I would appreciate it. I post videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And if you'd like to see more of these, please leave a like and leave a like and subscribe anyway while you're down there leaving a cake emoji because it's my birthday. So please, K thanks bye. And I'll be definitely doing more Mama Moo. And there is tons of Mama Moo. Definitely check out my playlist because I have been watching a whole bunch of their videos and I will be doing more in the future. Don't even worry about it. I think coming up shortly on my list is Lunatic next for Mama Moo. Oh, this list is very long, you guys, but I'm getting there. I'm getting to all of them. So I will see you again very soon. Bye!